Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back on the QTech world, and I've got to show you what we've done. We had a couple of streams, and in those streams, I have set up some basic uh, automatic processing and crafting. So we can now automatically, we'll craft any of these things here. We got patterns, which are the what you store, what you want to craft, shards, iron nuggets, glass panes, and photo cells, so we can start to make solar panels and just lots of things. And in fact, we have these redstone solar panels being created automatically. Over here, we have various machines that are creating like refined iron and quartz enriched iron and that sort of thing. Like right now, this machine is queued up a whole bunch of stuff for steel. So this is working really nicely. One of the problems we're having though, I'm going to sleep while I talk here, is that we have, the problem is making up the processors. If you recall, the processors are, um, if I look at them here, we'll look that up really quick. These things right here, you get put these into a, a, a furnace and they smelt into basic processors. But like if you need to look at these things, they need, first of all, silicon and they need processor binding. And these I do not have automated yet. This one in particular is kind of hard because this takes pink slime, which we got to make, plastic sheets, which we have to make, and essence. And this is what we're going to work on today. I want to try to get a better way of getting essence into the system, okay? So... Let's see here. What I would like to do first, I think I'm going to put all of my fluids also into the storage system. So we're going to look at making a fluid disk. And I believe we can make a 1K one. There's a 1K fluid. That's what we need to make right there. That's a 1,024K. No, I don't need that big of a disk. I need just to... Wow. I see the basic easiest one. Is that it right there? 4096K. 1024K, 6256K, 64K. I don't need a lot. So let's see if we can do this right here. We got a 64K fluid part. And let's make a 64K disc. And there we go. Okay, there it is. And I'm going to put it down here. So now we have storage for fluids in the storage system. And that's one great thing. So now uh, we're going to make some an importer. So we're going to import the essence into the system. And you can see I need a basic or improve one and a destruction core, which takes a basic. Do we have those in there? No. So this is where the processors get kind of crazy. We want one of those and we want the one of the basic processor, raw basic one. Really? I don't have any of the pieces to make this. I was going to say, there we go. We'll cook these up. We'll throw them into the furnaces down here. It's this whole process, we're going to try to work on in the next few videos, making these automatically so that we have them on hand because I keep having to make these over and over and it's a pain. So we'll, we'll get there. But we got to start from the beginning, which is really getting those, uh, getting this essence done. Okay. So we're doing the importer. And we need to make that, which has the quartz with it. And there we go, we have an importer. Now I'm gonna make some more of the cable. You can see we only have five cable left. And this shouldn't be that hard. Okay, there we go. So over on the other side of this is my farm here. There is underneath it, there is some an essence uh, machine here. And we've gotta go and get to that. So I'm thinking about just going right here. Now, I don't have a shovel on me, because you know, I'm too lazy to go make one. <laughs> So we're gonna just go on along here. And there is, this is where all of the essence is being stored. Um, we don't have any right now because I recently grabbed it all in the stream. So what we're gonna do, I think is, we're gonna import this and run a cable into the system here. Uh, let's go up and there it is, okay. So that should be bringing in essence. Now we can't see that yet because of the fact that we don't have any like a fluid grid, which we're gonna have to make next. Let me go harvest some wheat as well first so we can feed and just test that this thing is working. Uh, I don't have a lot of wheat. I also guess harvested this pretty quickly uh, and recently in the last stream. But it doesn't take a lot to do this. We can just get a couple of these guys and say, hey, here you go. And 
And the experience that is generated here should be, be picked up by the sewer that's in the center. And it puts it into here. And you can see we have 340 of essence and it should be being picked up by the importer. We'll let it sit and see if it does that. It should do it automatically. Right. Ooh, eerie sounds. Did you guys hear that? Let's work now on, <clears throat> excuse me. And we got some mobs being killed. That's awesome. Let's work on making the fluid grid. This is a tool that then allows me to see what's going on with the fluid because this only shows items. We want the fluid grid. Okay, we don't have anything stored there. So let's look that up. Fluid grid. We are going to bookmark that. We know we're going to need an advanced processor. And it looks like we're going to need two more of the gold and two more of the uh, iron. So let's get all those processors here and we'll go and cook them up. Let's see, we said two of the iron ones, two of the gold ones, one of the diamond ones, and we need to cook these up. So there we go. This is, see what I mean? This is such a pain doing this. We keep having to do this over and over, having to go down here and make these things. And then we're trying to get to a point where these are just automatically made and cooked up and ready to go whenever we build anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a lot of this we use for in the crafters and the importers and exporters and everything that has to do with refined storage. We just, we need this for everything we're gonna be doing with this automated processing. So we're gonna get one more of these and then we'll be, uh, go back up and we're gonna make this fluid grid so we can see what's going on with it. Okay, there we go. So let's put all of that back and we're trying to make the fluid grid which we need a regular grid. We need one of the construction cores. We need a destruction core. Okay. And now we need to make a machine casing. Which should be done now. There it is. And then we should have everything here for that. But we don't. What are we missing? Glass. Okay. So we're out of glass. So let's get some sand out here and let's cook that up down in the furnaces a little bit. So another thing we need to have that's automatically made is glass. We have to make a process to do that automatically. And we could do that um, as we can work on, but again, we need all the processors and stuff so we can make the parts we need to make it so we can have it craft. That's the way this kind of goes. Okay, I'm gonna take another drink of coffee here. Okay, I've got two glass there and two glass there. That's four glass. That should be enough for what we're trying to make. Put that in there. We're making the grid, a regular grid, and then we make it into a fluid grid. And there that goes. So I'm going to put that right here. And so now we can see any fluids that we have in here, but we don't have anything yet. So we need to get some essence. And I think we need to figure out how to get the essence out of that device over there and into here. I don't know if it takes it out in buckets worth or or what. Let's see if we have any more wheat that we can feed and see if we can get our essence level a little bit higher. Maybe it'll then figure out to take it. Um, I don't want to have to like prime it. I think it should take automatically, but I don't know. So come on, all of you. You guys, I know you want to make some more peoples here. More sheeps and cows. We got a lot of animals. It's okay though, I don't mind. We just wanna make sure we don't pick up any of the experience that they generate. Cause that's what's up, oh, I just picked one up. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Cause that stuff is used for the essence, okay? I'm going back down here. And this is, now we're up to 820, almost a full bucket's worth. Be nice to be able to get a little bit more than that. Let me pull, go around here. And look and see if I can look at the importer because maybe it's not set to work with fluids. So we're going to say it's type, it's fluids. Oh, it is gone. There it went. It's empty there. Excellent. So now if we go back to the base, I can just do home. That's probably a little bit quicker. And we go upstairs in the fluid grid. We can see that we've got 0 0.820 buckets of essence. That is fantastic. Okay, now that is the first part of this. Now I want to try to automate this process a little bit and we're gonna do that I think next. 
um, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to make what's called, um, I want to separate the babies first. And then we're going to make a feeder, which will feed the animals. Of course, making babies. We don't want to overstock our things, so we'll just do this. So let's make the separator first. Try to make the separator. We need a gold gear. And we've got that. I should bookmark this. Uh, we need a golden carrot. Uh, I don't have carrots yet. You're kidding me. Oh, we might have to work a little bit harder for this. I thought this would be kind of easy. Plastic. So we're going to have to make everything. This may take us a little more time than I had anticipated. Well, let's see here. Uh, we got to find carrots. I don't have any carrots yet at all. So we need to go find a village. And let's look at the map here. I thought there was a village nearby. There is a village up here. Okay, so we're going to have to go and get some stuff here. Now, it's going to be time to sleep in a second. So let's make some gold nuggets. This is kind of easy to do. Okay, so we got enough gold nuggets. So when we make our carrot, that's fine. We got to get purple dye, which is blue and red. Do we have any uh, poppies? We do. Let's make that. And... Uh, purple takes blue dye, which is just lapis, which we have. There's that. Okay, so we made a couple of things here. Uh, the plastic and the, the pity machine frame is something we'll have to do. And we also have to get some carrots. Hopefully this village has some carrots or else we're out of luck. Um, we can look really quick. We may have some carrots in the, the mob farm here. I'm not storing the items off, so it may have some in, in its like inventory space. Or it doesn't have any inventory space. I thought we were collecting items. Uh, I don't know. Let's go over to... Let's go to the village. And we said it was kind of that way. Okay. A little exploring that we're going to work on here. See if we can get some uh, stuff. We'll probably... <laughs> farm all the resources they have, but hopefully we'll find some carrots. There's some oil there. We got to also harvest that up probably. Let's go around the, the hole there. So with this, when we get the uh, animal baby separator, whenever they, they get fed, we can pull the babies out and that way we don't overflow our little farming area there which is kind of what I want to do. Then we can just get rid of the babies. We don't care. You know, they're not useful. We don't want to overflow, like I said. Then we'll get what we what we do. We're going to do a feeder, which will feed them automatically. Oh, look at all that wheat. This is good. We haven't even raided this thing. Maybe we got some fun. Uh-oh, there is a raid going on, which I really don't care about, honestly. Um. Oh, there they are. They're... they're Ring in the bell. Anything in here? No. We may have a fight on our hands. I was hoping not to have to do that. A little bit of drama. This is a lot of wheat. I'll take that. Let's go see if we can find a farm here. Hi, kitty cat. Um, okay. I have no food with me. But we're oh, thankfully near a farm. So I can get food here, I hope. Really? Nothing's grown? Oh boy, that's not good. I wanted to replant, but what are they anyway? Wheat, carrot. Potato. There we go. Hmm. Well, we can pretty easily do this. And make some wheat out of that. And if we can find a crafting table in here somewhere, we can just make what we need for food. Okay. Right, let me through there. Why would you put a tree so close to all that? Don't get it. Are you hiding, dude? Yep, must be hiding. 
So where is a crafting table? I don't know. We have one back home. I guess I could plant a carrot. I've got two carrots, so let's just go home. I don't need any more. I really just need to get a carrot, and we'll plant the other carrot, and we'll get that as a resource here in a minute. So let me move, take that out, and let's plant a carrot there, and we'll use this other carrot for what we need. I really should plant a potato, too. Okay, that works. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we have a bunch of wheat. Let's make a golden carrot. Okay. And now we're just waiting on these things here. So the plastic. Let's make some plastic up. If you recall, it makes the pellets. We've got to get use the polyethylene, which takes all the stuff down there. Let's get the, is there these, what are these things called? These uh, canisters, get ethane. And we can get all of those. The blank ones, let's see if we can make this stuff here. Oh, the farm, I took all that down. So we gotta get, uh, what are they? What were the machines? They were silent machines, weren't they? Yes, these, the solidifier, the refinery, and the mixer. We have some of those there, okay. So we had to use the refinery first. which we added in the oil and then it went into the uh, the mixer and the solidifier, I believe. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we have to get our oil. Is it here? We have, is it a tank? We may not have a tank of oil left. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought. I thought I had more tanks, but I guess not. We need our pump. We need an energy cell. I don't have any of those. I have to go find one. I'll probably, probably take this one. It's right, uh, where'd it go? Is it out there? It's out there, okay. And we need a pipe to pipe the material. And a tank. Let's make another tank. Uh, what does it take for an advanced one? That's good. Okay, so there, that's a little bit bigger. That should do. Okay, let's go and get some more of that oil. I really should get some food too, shouldn't I? Let's have some bread. Okay, let's go to our oil field and get some more of the resources. I see, I use the tanks for the lava. That's what I, why I don't have it. <clears throat> Don't forget my power source. It's slowly getting power, but that should be enough power for what we need. Of course, I could just power it with the solar panel that's on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, this is going a little longer than I thought it would, but you know, you get the idea of what we're trying to do. We're going to try to automate these processors being created. That's, that's the, the end goal for the next few videos here. Okay, so let's put uh, let's put our energy cube here, and let's put the pump. No, oh, and it's got lava in it. Um, is there a way to dump the lava that's in it? Maybe. Okay, so let's put this on a along the side here. Not quite what I want, but let's see if we put a tank on top of it. Does it like fill it up with lava? And now is this gonna pump out the other stuff? I keep hearing monsters. Now, is there a way to empty this out? I'm curious, there's a way to just have it dump. Empty, okay. No, I'll get to make another tank. We'll have to do that in a second. I want to get this pump set up correctly, though. We're, like, in the oil. <laughs> okay. There. And it's getting the stuff. Okay, let's go and get another tank. I did not realize that. That was my mistake. 
these tanks are real easy to make. So we'll just make two of those again. We'll just make that tank and then make this tank. Okay. Little minor derpage, but that's okay. We're doing okay with this. Let's go get some oil. Running low on time. I'm going to go a little bit long on this episode. I usually target about 20 minutes of time per an episode. But uh, because of the way this goes, we're going to go just a little bit longer. Hopefully we can get some more plastic at, at least done pretty quickly here. Okay. And fill. So it is filling up as much as it can, as quick as it can. And that's a lot of buckets. That's 20, what, 25 buckets, 26, 28 buckets that we're going to have? Yeah, 28 buckets of oil. And now we go back home. And we're going to pipe this into the refinery here. So I'm going to put this right there. And let's go get some fluid pumps here, or fluid... Uh, Pipes. I already had some on me. What was I thinking? Okay, so that's going to be going in. We need a configurator to tell it to pull from the tank. So let's go get that configurator. And I think you do it this way. Pull. And there it's going in, and you can see it fills that up. And this machine should then be making the uh, things that we need. We're going to put some empty canisters here. And then they go into here. You can see it's going to make ethane and diesel, I believe. It made diesel. We take that out, and it makes ethane, which we have here. Right. Now the ethane goes in here. And we need to get water going into here. So this I was just doing manually with buckets. We're going to have to automate this process as well, but that's okay. We'll get this. I can't just put it in here. I just do it like this. And then these are the canisters for output. And we'll do that. And this will make polyethylene. The polyethylene canisters then go in here, which solidifies and makes the uh, things that we need. So let's go to sleep here. The polyethylene makes the plastic pieces. And then we make the plastic. And we get all everything we need for that. So we're, we're, we're slowly getting this process down, right? Um, I need some more canisters here. Let's put a few of these here. At. And these make plastic sheets and the plastic like this makes the plastic that we need. So we're getting, getting there. And these diesels are pretty nice because with the diesels, I do have a diesel machine out here. This is a diesel generator and I put the diesel in here and it fills up this and uh, yeah, it's providing power. So we've got lots of solar and a diesel thing using the diesel fuel we have to make power for our system. Eight more of those. And that's all we needed for the plastic portions for that, for this machine. So if we go back up here and we try to make the baby separator, that's it for that, except for the pity machine frame. Oh, look, we need more plastic. We need pretty much all of this. So we need a lot more plastic. We'll go a little bit longer today. Uh, we're going to take those. We're going to take the ethane and put it in here. Grab all the pieces. We need four more buckets worth of water. Wow. Take some time, guys. I, I wish I, I'm worried that if I, if I have water being fed into here all, all the time, it'll fill up the entire thing with water and we won't have any room for ethane. If that makes any sense. Right. We're going to let that run for a little bit because it doesn't take too long. What we need for this machine frame here, we got, we don't have compressed iron. And now all that is, is in a compressor. It's refined iron. And we just need two of those. 
Compressed iron. Do I already have compressed iron? Because we can do it pretty quick. No, we don't have any compressed iron, so we got to do an okay compressor, and we needed to get some refined iron like that. We'll get this thing running too. This is power coming in. Let's put this here, and let's put that there, and it'll make that compressed iron. Okay. Let's make some more of the plastic. And we need to make purple alloy, which is red and blue, or this in an alloy smelter, a green and, or sorry, green, a gold and Tesla tight. So let's get two gold and Tesla tight. I have some of that. And I'm just going to use this smelter over here. It doesn't matter which one. And it'll make it and automatically import that stuff back in. So that's good. Okay. So that's that part. Basically, all that will be taken care of. We got to make the ultimate circuit here. So we need to make a green circuit. We need to make the red one. That's that. We need to make this, which is using the diamond uh, stuff and infused alloy. I think we have some of those in the machine down here. We do. Okay, we'll get those back. So that's this part. So let's make the blue one. And now to make this, we have to make, right, it's these things, which you have those and refined obsidian dust. Do we have any refined obsidian dust? No. And that is more of that diamond stuff in uh, with obsidian dust. So um, <laughs> we'll make that. There's some more of that. There's the ethane. So we're kind of doing things all at once here. It's okay. Plastic. We had I think two up there, so we need to make three more. Really? Hi. No, you can't come in. And this... I think we need to dump the rest of that and put this and that. Okay, almost done. Running out of time, uh-huh. Yep, we're running out of time. There's the atomic alloy. One more of these. So we almost have the pity machine frame and we have, hopefully we'll be able to make at least the animal baby separator here. We are so close, I think. So we do that. There we go. Making the machine frame. We were gonna compress this and it should have brought that in. Oh, it's in the compressor down there. I'm, I'm down here. That's what we needed. So with these, there's the pity machine frame. We have enough to make an animal baby separator. Okay, guys. So there we go. The next episode, we're going to implement this animal baby separator. We're going to hook that into the system so that it separates the babies and I guess going to like kill them. I don't know. We don't want to overflow. And then after that, we're going to work on, I think the next thing is going to be a way to feed the animals so that we get our essence. And then we'll have that part of the uh, problem solved, okay? Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.